All righty. So I am now joined with my man, Slam Bell, who blessed me with a ride today. All righty. So losers semifinals. Let's get it. We got um, Amaryllis. Yeah. Um, Epo and Amaryllis. Uh, I don't think they played earlier, but... Oh, no, 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 they did. Amaryllis went Peach... Oh, no, went Daisy and Palu. And I think we're seeing the Palu again, which is pretty hype. Oh, good catch there with the up air. Going to be a quick stock for Amaryllis. Well, the classic Epo F smash on shield. Not going to get the hit he wanted, though. And both these characters, I feel like, play really well around each other. They have good frame data, and um, they space really well. So it just comes down to who wants to uh, play faster, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, that was a good punish. Good recovery, too. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm good. I'm good. You're tired? or I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. No, okay. no, no. I'm just making sure you're alive. I think, I think we're good. I'm just trying to take all this in. I've seen um I've seen Epo play before. Epo's fantastic, but I've never yeah. seen um Amaryllis, Amaryllis normally before. plays uh Robin. Okay. And also plays Bayonetta. Okay. Um so the Palu's a little unconventional pick in terms of his play style, but it's doing work right now, so I yeah, can't definitely. I can't really knock it. And Epo, you know, the cloud specialist, so of course. We all know course. his um his gig. Right, and he's definitely he's definitely gunning for that uh, for this win right now because he does want to place really highly. Um, he's on a he's been on a good streak recently, and uh, you know he likes to prove that you know Cloud is still good. Oh, it Yikes. caught like the edge of the boot. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Ebo's too happy about that, but I don't think anybody would be. You, you yeah, know, no. you never want to be above Palutena. Never, never ever, especially if like. Um, you get caught overextending. And I don't even think Epo overextended there. He was just... It might have just been a, a matter of the hitbox was out and he thought it would have been gone by then. Right. And just bam. Yeah, I don't think those are on. Oh, shoot. Yeah. It's their off day. I need my little fact checker right now. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I need all the stats. Give me the stats. All right. So, so what do you think about the stage pick for uh, for pa for Palutena? I mean, I I kind of have a feeling like I know that uh, Cloud would probably do a little bit better. Yeah. Because of his uh, when he gets his limit yeah. charge. Yeah, this stage is definitely um, better for Epo, in my opinion. Uh, although Palu does benefit from the one platform, uh, getting the juggles. I feel like Cloud just spaces better around the platform. And uh, I was kidding. You didn't actually have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Oh, catches him with an up smash at the ledge. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just gonna see the classic. Like, who can who can really punish the other off the ledge? Because both these characters don't really get too much. Um, if the other is setting up a trap, they're probably gonna get hit by it. And you know, Epo definitely wants that that hard hit right now. Mm -hmm. Palutena does do a lot of damage, so Epo's definitely not looking forward to getting hit again. Good cross slash though. There we go. Thank you. Oh, we almost got hit by that. Oh, that would have been gross. All right, classic climb hazard out of shield. Going to get some percent there. Oof, caught him off that air dodge. Yeah. That was rough because that was a good spot for um, for Amaryllis to have Epo in. Mm. And the, yo, the oh, punish he almost there. Caught, yeah, that, that would have been nice. That would have been a crazy punish. We got caught jumping in there. Oh, and that Cat hitbox. Cat is on the bottom of the up smash. Ew. So big. I think Epo could have waited a little longer. Could have stalled out a little, but um, I wouldn't have. Oh, it armored through the first. Yo, it armored through dash attack. Let's go. We got an even game. Oh, yeah. Epo's just got to be careful because Palu really thrives at the ledge, mm. especially since Cloud's recovery is a little bit exploitable. If you can just move in right after she uses either her uh, either her B or her side B, yeah. I don't know. I what is it? Auto reticle and explosive flame. Yeah. If you can move in right as she's using those, that's like that's like the sweet spot. That's what you want on Palutena. Oh. Yeah, that, like that, that spacing. Yeah. That quick opportunity to just move in. Did you? I don't know if you saw. He did double down down. Uh, he did double spot dodge into uh, 
It's nice. A cross slash. And that was a great comeback there. We saw Epo playing a little bit from behind, but he managed to pull through and get that win. All right, so for game three, I'm really curious as to what Amaryllis' counter pick's going to be. I'm also curious as to what was banned. So we're going to Battlefield. We might be seeing Bayonetta. Nope, we're not. This is a good Palutena again. Yeah, this is a good Palu stage, good Cloud stage. So I'm not surprised. Both these characters kind of benefit from the platforms. They do have the same, like, pref like preference for stages, I believe. Right, right, right. And, um, you know, it really comes down to who's us utilizing the platforms better. And Cloud gets that big damage off of the conversions. So does Palutena, though. She gets those Nair chains. Cloud, he kind of has a chain of his own. It's it's more, like, subtle, though. Just gets that, like, fair into Cross Slash. And Amaros has been firing off those up smashes. Up smashes. Yeah. He's calling them out every time. And honestly, that hitbox is so big, so, like, I'm not even surprised that it's hitting. But normally, Epo is very patient, and he's able to avoid. Like, like you see that, like, the spacing... Ooh, he just barely Clinton didn't make it. won't bring him back to stage, though. Yeah. He, like, barely faded out of the, the explosive flame. And, you know, it, it takes a lot of confidence in your character to, like, know exactly, you know, where you won't get hit. Right, and, right. And, you know, we see um, Epo actually getting that F smash, going to even it up. Do you think sometimes it's worth it to just let the explosive flame hit you because the trajectory is up, right? Yeah, at that percent, I think he would have been uh, dead, but I could okay. see it benefiting uh, some characters. Like, say, Rob, like, if I if I have no gas and I get hit by that, right. I have a better chance of surviving just because I've been put higher above the ledge as right. opposed to being below it. So you can at least drift into it I, I, yeah, as opposed exactly. to not even yeah. have the option. For Cloud, I'm not really sure how that would benefit him if he did want that. I right. could see it working out. I just don't know how Epo would... Um, I think he would justify... Just not getting hit by it in general. All right. Well, at least he, he didn't let him capitalize with that up smash on him. Yeah. He, he kind of oh, saw that one. Counter, the rarely used counter. Oh, that was a good spot dodge. Going to call out that grab. And Epo is going to take the lead, but not for long. Not for long. I hate getting cursed like that. <laughs> All right. So Epo in a good spot. Amaryllis needs to get an opening. But honestly, like, you know, this could be anyone's game here. Even percent, even stocks. Yeah, Amaryllis is calling out the jumps here. Epo definitely seems like he's moving around yeah. a little bit more. Like, he, he gained a little bit of momentum from there the you go. Uh, yeah. previous stocks. Yeah. He's moving at a healthy Good pace. Gets cross last. Fills up Ooh. the limit gauge. Oh, if he was ready, I think I could have seen that cross slash. Maybe not at that percent. Ooh, he lo yeah, he loves that, um, that step back. Oh, Ooh, the platform saved him there. Yeah, his, um, his cross-slash usage is really good. Right. He doesn't fully commit to it, so he doesn't end up with all yeah. that end on shield. That was good. Oh, he called him out on the charge. Oh, that was a and sick cross-up. Nice. Beated the counter and just back-aired him in the face. Good stuff to Epo. That was a really good adjustment. Now, this is uh, best, this of five, is best of five. Yeah. Okay, okay. Normally in bracket, I believe this would be a best of five anyway. Maybe not. Oh, I think we only do uh, winners, losers, and grands. And we see JDV coming in with some coaching, because that is allowed. Also punching him. <laughs> I like the physical motivation. Now, there, I remember there was some talk about that mid-set coaching is allowed, but mid-match coaching is not. Mid-match so coaching is not allowed pretty much universally. Right. Um, I don't think I've ever seen an instance where it was allowed, unless it's like, I, I don't even know. I've just never seen it really be, like, considered something that was okay. Right. I mean, it, I guess it depends on the severity of it. So right. if, like, if, like, you're behind me and you're saying, like, like, call out his up B or whatever, like, he's I don't gonna know. jump. Like, that's the, I feel like that's different than being, like, he's mashing up B, like, hit him, you know? If, you, if you're saying, like, yo, call him out, you know? Right. That, that's a debate that could go either way. You know? Hey. I, what do I know, you know? Um, you are commentating. Yeah, that doesn't mean I know much. <laughs> 
I kind of just, you know, I could have just walked in here with a gamer hoodie and been like, no, I want to play Smash Bros, you know? That's a that's an invite yeah. to anybody who uh Yeah, who I feel like, like <laughs> so like as opposed to other um things in life, I feel like Smash has that kind of eh, I don't even want to say that because that just sounds weird. But um universally like like if you think of like something like physics, right? Like there's the speed of light, which is consistent. Okay. Across all like things or it should be at least you know okay i'm with it i'm with it um as opposed to smash because i could walk in or i could be at home and i could play against my level nine luigi amiibo right and be like yeah like i know how to beat luigi yeah but then i come here and i go man i just got zero to death by ben 99 right, i don't know right, right, my luigi right. doesn't do that so i think the consistency of knowledge uh across a game's community or just the span of players um you know, affects how the game is played. I right. feel like because it's not consistent. Or how, um, or how people respond to it, too. Yeah, it's not like this is the formula for this character, you know? Like, there's right. nothing like that. There's nothing concrete. Right. Um, and, like, we see like we see matchups being played completely different ways, depending on the player. So, um, you know, to say, like, anything is concrete is just... I don't think it's correct. Right. Um, I, think, I think things can be, like changed about a matchup or the way you view it that's why i feel like some people and we we talked about this yeah, how yeah. tier lists how, don't how, really how, how, right how tier lists are way too subjective they're not yeah. necessarily like you know the be all end all about a character they can be based on facts but you know i mean li listen if if a, if a tier list is based on stats and you can't argue that like that's cold that's cold hard evidence but yeah. if it's just based on like how you feel about a matchup or like you know the yeah. character's apparent frame data mm -hmm. it's it, it's so much different you know you got to think about how comfortable are you with the character yeah. there's so much that goes into it oh the scoop with the down smash there yeah so uh, sorry sorry about that uh, that heavy level of discourse just now we're uh, <laughs> the rant <laughs> well, the intellectual we will get back to the match yes. um so I, I keep I keep calling that I keep calling that move crescent rolls. I don't know what it's actually called. The the one that uh, the, cla uh, clouds the projectile. blade beam like the limit blade beam. Yeah, I just call it limit blade beam. I don't I don't limit even know. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, Amarillo is taking a decent lead here um, after running it back to battlefield. So if Epo manages to clutch this out, he will be sitting in losers finals uh, against Mr. Stocktaker's Joker. Oh, that was a sick read. Wow. And he didn't, he didn't take any percent, so it's even game. Oh, yeah, going to get the beefy forward air into cross slash. And this is honestly, like, I like both of these players a lot. Their play styles are really, really interesting uh, among, you know, their set of characters. And Epo really only plays Cloud. But no, yo, wow. that, was, that was a sick call out. Amaryllis just held it. And I, I honestly love that change to this game because previously you could not charge it past a certain point. I love that you could just hold it now. Right, I right, I feel right. like it adds such a deep level of mix-up and, you know, obviously if you're just throwing it out. Right, because like, it, 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 it adds higher risk, higher reward. If yeah. You, if you charge, yeah. a, you know, if you have a fully charged F smash and somebody's holding their shield, they can keep holding that shield. But then yeah. you're getting an even more fully powered F smash at that yeah. point. I mean, after a certain point, the knockback and the damage doesn't increase, but it's just like, you know, you're letting that shield get smaller and smaller. That actually yeah. happened to me when I played Gem in a friendly. I was I did neutral get up, and I just held shield as Rob, and he right. held the F smash, and for some reason, I just let it hit me, and it broke my shield, and I was right. like, why? Yep. And then I, yeah. Because you, cause you never expect it. Yeah. Ooh, and Epo with a good start here. The, crossing up that counter, Amaryllis is really opting for it. Oh, he wanted the yeah. He was looking for that, and it's uh, it's it's interesting to see how Palutena's armor actually interacts with Cloud's hitboxes. Haven't really seen Ippo using too much of cross slash uh, the previous games. It seems to be a, yeah. a pretty a pretty good tool for helping him get inside. And oh yeah, it does the most damage. And he keeps baiting out those counters, yeah. which Amarillo seems to be using a lot more of now. Oh, that was a good call Kevin's out on the, the double nice jump. Here. I'm gonna take a really nice lead in the beginning of this game. Yeah, Epo plays a very like I don't want to I don't even want to say masher because his character doesn't really do that. Um, right. Him as a player, he plays very much on the bait and punish. So he will he will land on your shield, 
but he knows that if you drop shield and you don't have a good out of shield option, he can almost guarantee the climb hazard because you know it's fast enough. You know it crosses up spot dodge because it goes up and down. Right. Um, and it's just a big move. So you know, Epo's been playing a lot like that, and Amaros is getting caught sometimes. Oh yeah, not yeah, yeah, not a good option off ledge. The move can be shielded very easily. It used to poke shield in Smash 4 like a crazy amount. Like the the move the hitbox was just huge. Oh my goodness, we see the, the uppy <laughs> trading with the Nair and he gets another one immediately. Had a flashback to turbo mode real quick, because <laughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me one sec. Yeah, no, you're good. <coughs> the big cough. <laughs> big cough. Good patience. Not gonna drop the shield on that. It's funny that was enough. that was scary when he air dodged yeah. back to the ledge. I thought he was gonna catch him with that down tilt. Yeah, it's funny because Epo is one of the few cloud players. Oh, catches the up, catches him with the uh, the cross slash before he gets the up yeah. smash off. Like Epo is one of the few clouds that I see in general, but he uses F smash a lot and he he hits it a lot too. Mm -hmm. For someone of his like skill level, you wouldn't expect that, but man, he loves that move. It, it's effective too. I don't know. Amarillo is answering back, saying, I'm not taking none of that funny business. You're not going to land on me anymore. Has has that even been some that he's been able to land? Uh, what, what is that, forward air? Yeah, is that he actually did land uh, on Amarillo's last game. Uh, I believe on the second stock, he was able to punish it. Oh, and that actually lasts a while. That was a good tomahawk. We're seeing Epo in a good spot right now. He just has to not... Let Palu get her shenanigans started. Mm -hmm. And if he could read this ledge get up with good pressure. Oh, not going to get the blade beam punished, though. The down what smash. Down smash. Oh, not going to take it. No, not yet. He just needs one more hit, though. Yeah, Palu's at a dangerous percent. And this is where it gets really scary for Epo, actually. Yeah, he does not want to get hit. And he wants to maintain that momentum. Yeah. He doesn't want to lose it right now. He needs to... I feel like he's just not respecting Palu enough. Oh, God. <gasps> no! There it is. The counter. Not safe. Amaryllis going down. 